This year, Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought has been awarded in absentia to Russian activist Alexei Navalny. The 45-year-old is in jail in Russia, accused of parole violations. A price his family claims he's paying for speaking out against Vladimir Putin's rule. In Strasbourg, Navalny's daughter accepted the EU's top human rights prize in his name while renewing her calls for his release and asking MEPs for further support. This might actually be what the nightmare of myself and my family looks like. Me traveling from different, to different conferences and summits, giving speeches in my dad's name while he is in jail. And I will continue traveling, meanwhile reading articles about the horrible conditions my dad is being held in. It's not like there's much to do about it, so I travel and speak, and he continues to be held in confinement. A fierce Kremlin critic, Navalny has fought for democracy, transparency and against corruption in Russia. His chief of staff to the 2018 presidential election campaign told Era News Navalny's health condition is stable for the time being. He added this recognition has a special meaning for the activist. He reacted that he feels not only honored, but also that he feels a lot of responsibility. Because while it is probably the first time, then like fight against corruption has been recognized as a human rights uh, fight, which is indeed so. Fight against corruption is a human rights fight. Russian observers say the award doesn't mean Navalny will be freed. Last year, the Sakharov Prize went to Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. Her husband has just been jailed for 18 years by a court in Minsk for inciting hatred and social unrest. Pedro Sakadura, Euronews, Brussels.